Zotero works best in Firefox, but also works well in Chrome and Safari. To download Firefox, go to mozilla.org and download from there. To download Zotero, go to zotero.org, then click Download Now. Make sure you have quit out of Microsoft Word on your computer, then, for Firefox users, click Zotero for Firefox and follow the prompts. You know it downloaded successfully if you see it in the bottom right corner of your web browser. Then select Plugin for Word or LibreOffice. From here, choose whether you use Windows or Mac and then click the appropriate Word for Windows plugin. If you use something different than Word, scroll down further on this page. You know it downloaded successfully when seven Zotero icons appear at the top of Word under Add-ins in Microsoft and floating on the left in Mac. If the icons do not appear immediately in Mac, make sure you've actually quit Word. Then click the scroll icon at the top and see if Zotero is listed. If it is, you can make the icons appear by clicking View, then Toolbars, then select Zotero. After that, you should see your icons appear. For Chrome or Safari users, click Zotero for Windows and follow prompts. You know it downloaded successfully when Zotero standalone is installed on your computer and the seven Zotero icons appear at the top of Word. Next, choose the Chrome or Safari browser extension and follow the prompts. You can test it by going to Amazon.com, search for books, we'll type library, then see if a folder icon appears around the address bar, on the top right in Chrome and the top left in Safari. After installing Zotero, you can create your own account so that references saved on any computer can be opened on any other computer through your personal account. To do this, go to zotero.org, then click register and fill out your information. Then open Zotero, select preferences, sync, and type the username and password of the account you created. When this is completed, any resources you saved in your account can be opened on any computer by going to zotero.org and logging in. To use Zotero, start by creating a folder for your work. Then open your book or journal article or website or whatever you are using and click the Zotero icon in the web browser. In places where a list of resources are useful, click the folder icon and select multiple references at once. In Safari, remember the icon is on the left instead of the right. If there is no Zotero link when your resource is opened, you may need to manually create a resource by clicking the green circle with a plus sign, then selecting your resource type, finally fill out the information on the right side. When your resources are gathered, you can freely edit fields if they are in error. Finally, you can take those resources and create an instantaneous bibliography by clicking and dragging them onto your paper. You can change the style used by selecting the gear, choosing preferences, export, selecting your style, then OK. However, you can also use Zotero to create in-text citations. Place your cursor in the right place, then choose the first icon, select your style, then search for the resource to cite. Enter. If you notice it is incorrect, click the second icon and edit. When you are ready to add a bibliography, place the cursor and select the third icon. If you realize you need to edit the bibliography, select the fourth icon. If you make changes within Zotero itself, select the fifth icon to update Word. If you want to change the citation style, select the sixth icon. If you later realize you want to add another source, no problem. Just add it in your paper and Zotero automatically adds it to the bibliography in alphabetized order. If you have any questions or troubleshooting, please visit library.cornerstone.edu, then FAQ, and click on the first entry that pops up.